obviously a disappointing game. Um, how do you make sure that doesn't spill over into uh, tonight's game now? Well, we'll talk to the team tomorrow. Uh, you know, you got to have short-term memory in the playoffs. Uh, it's a tough game, tough game to lose. Uh, you know, both teams battled hard, obviously, and uh, you know we're going to have to regroup and come back tomorrow and respond uh, with a win. With a uh, effort like that from Marshall, do you, how disappointing is that to let a game and a performance like that slip away? Yeah, it's it's disappointing. I thought both goalies played well. Uh, Markey played unbelievable, and uh, it's unfortunate that we couldn't find another goal. How difficult is it? Obviously, I mean, this is a long game as it is, but then you guys are a man short with Archie getting hurt early on in the game, so you have to juggle the lines and you're short of forward for really five, six periods. You know how difficult is that? Well, it, it was taxing. Our guys were getting tired. There's no doubt about it. Uh, when you lose guys, we lost a couple forwards tonight, and uh, we pretty well played with ten forwards for the for the whole overtime. And uh, you know, but I thought our guys battled though. It, you know, it was a great hockey game. Uh, someone's got to win it, and someone's got to lose it. It's unfortunate that uh, that we were on the wrong end tonight. What did you say to What did you say to the guys? I haven't had a chance to talk to the guys yet. It's pretty tough to. You know, there's not a lot you can say. That one's going to hurt, and uh, you know we got to respond tomorrow. It seems like Chicago was a more physical style team. This seems like more of the Utica Comet style, like a speed type of finesse type of game. Um, so, what are you seeing from them, you know, from their forwards? You know, their skill level. Uh, doesn't surprise us. They're a real good hockey team. They were one of the best teams in the league all year long. Uh, they've got a really mobile back end. They got a fast group of forwards. Uh, you know, they're a lot like us. How do you, how do the guys recover physically? I mean, just just got to do it. Just got to do it. It's the same for both teams. Now, I asked this in the last series too. After a heartbreaking loss like this, is it better for the guys to be able to now tonight be able to get right back onto it? And not, not I think so. I'd rather play tomorrow. When you lose a tough game, I'd rather play the next day than than uh, wait around, but uh, obviously there's a little different circumstance, So, but it's the same for both teams, and uh, you know we've got to find a way to get re-energized and go at it again tomorrow. It seemed like you guys had a little bit more legs from halfway through the second period all the way through overtime. Did yeah. you feel that way? Yeah, I'd agree. I didn't think we had a great first period. I thought we had a better second half of the game for sure. Cal, can you put your feelings in a nutshell? Oh, it's tough. It's tough for loose. Uh, it sucks lose, uh, playing that long, and you don't get the, get the outcome you want. But uh, you know it was a tight game. Uh, we had a slow start again, but I thought we got better as the game went on. And you know, playoffs, you just got to forget about it and come back tomorrow ready to go. Can you talk about the goaltending on, on both ends? Oh. It was really awesome today. Oh, unbelievable! Both of them, Marky was outstanding. Some unbelievable saves, and their guy played really well too. Is there anything that you say to the guys as the captain? Uh, you going to the locker room? Just forget about it. You know, we, we played as hard as we could, and we didn't get what we wanted, but that's playoff hockey, and forget about it, get ready to go tomorrow. And how do you recover physically? Sleep. <laughs> I think sleep's the biggest thing. And then uh, doing whatever you need to do to, to get yourself ready for tomorrow night. After a night like tonight, are you guys glad that you get to go right back at it later tonight? You know, you don't really sit and, and think about it too much? Well, going that long, it would be better if we had a day or two. But... Uh, since we did lose, you know that, that's all right, and you know we're in good shape, so we'll be ready for t tomorrow night. But uh, it's, uh, it's out of our control. The schedule, we just got to come out ready to go tomorrow. Uh, obviously, in a marathon game like this, it's difficult on the legs, you know, fatigue anyway. But you guys being short of forward for a majority of the game, I mean, how was it? Was it the juggle the lines and how stable? Yeah, we lost a couple forwards and uh, defensemen there, and so a lot of ice time for guys. But uh, you know, I think uh, considering how long we went, you know, guys were skating well the whole time and. And, uh, you know, it was, it was, it was tough, uh, tough sledding, but, you know, we, we stuck together and we easily could have won that game. Even Ar Archie went out. Who else went out late? Uh, Grenier. Even with those injuries and you guys having a long series with multiple overtime games, it seems like you guys had more legs, especially later on in the game. Is that a bit surprising for you guys? No, I mean, you know, we worked all our year. We've had tough practices, and that's why you do it is for this time of year. You never know if you get into long overtime. Um, so... You know, we'll be fine tomorrow. I'm sure it won't start off as the fastest pace tomorrow night, but uh, we got to come mentally ready. So it's, it's the biggest thing is, uh, is the mental side of it. You know, you're going to be tired, but so are they.